another hardware review and we are back with the spire yes we are looking at the v-rod 200 watt kit yes something a bit different than a pod system take a look at that that looks really really nice dual 18650 comes with the guru tank and the guru tank's got a nice little interesting feature yes nice color screen on there as well and a bit of leather a little bit of leather. Well, like normal, let's get this review on the road. This is the box. That's everything you do get in that box. And that was the box. So the V-Rod 200 watt kit from Aspire. I do like the look of it. It's got the Guru tank or Guru tank. I think that's how you say it. Made out of zinc alloy. You've got a little bit of leather going on there as well. So let's go top to bottom like we normally do. We'll start off with the tank itself. It is the Guru tank. Yes, I think I'm saying it right. And it's got quite a little interesting, quirky feature. I do quite like it. We'll start off the top like we normally do. It is an 810 drip tip. Interchangeable if you've got your own. Push that back on there. It is a top fill. So you have got some gnarling around the top. Very simple to take this off. Now they are saying, it, like I said, it is a top fill. They are saying this is a childproof cap now or childproof mechanism. Now I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on this and I'm just going to turn it. That pops off. Can't understand how that's a, a childproof mechanism. Bang. It just pops off. Now if you do have a look in, in the actual top cap itself, you'll be able to see these two little grooves are out either side. That fits into the top, if I show it properly. One there and one there. So you marry them up and then twist it. Now, at the top, you've got your two juice wells at the side. No problem with airlocks or anything like that. Nice and big. Now, the interesting bit, we are going to get into it fully. I'll show you how it all works. That is where your coil goes. So you push your coil down into there. Yes. I'll show you that in a second. You've got a little bit more gnarling around the top here so you can take it off the chimney. It comes in a 2mm TPD, 4mm standard, and you can also get a 5mm bubble glass. Your airflow is at the bottom, and it is mirrored on the other side. Very silky smooth and easy to move. Again, you've got some nice bit of gnarling here and there as well. And like I said, it is mirrored on the other side. Also, where this actual gnarling is here, it pulls down. Yes. That's how your coil pops out. Again, I will show you all that in a second. At the bottom, it tells you it is the Guru. Kite marks don't vape in a bin. Aspire, made in China. It's a non-adjustable 510. It is slightly protruding. Right then, let's break this down. While we're breaking this down, to show you, the coils that you get with this are the 0.150 mesh coils. That's best between 60 and 70 watts. You also get a 0 0.30 mesh coil. That's best between um, 40 and 50 watts. Now, these are the Guru coils. I'll just show you the 0 0.3. Well, I've just took that all apart. So this is the 0 0.3. And this one's best between 40 and 50 watts. And it is the Guru coils. There we go. So, we showed you the mechanism. So obviously your top bit fits on there where you, where you, with your filling ports in. And there's your chamber. Now if you just have a little look there, you'll see that it's actually closed. So if I now, should have had the coil in the other hand, Aiden. So you'll be able to see that it's actually closed. So when you put your coil in, which you would push in from the top, watch, it opens it up. That's absolutely fantastic. So it opens it up, and that's obviously letting your juice in. Then you pull the bottom bit down, and it pops your coil out. And as it pops it out, it closes it off. So if you've got a tank full of juice, and you need to change your coil, that's all you've got to do. How simple is that? Push it in, and then it opens it up. Pull it, like so, and it pops it back out again. 
I'll just put that all together. <coughs> there you go. Nice big O-ring as well as you can see. To put your glass back on. Make sure I've got that one the right way around. It's a lot easier doing this off of, um, in fact I'll do it the other way around. So I'll put the glass on at the top. Might have been a bit easier if I'd have done it that way in the start. There we go. Screw that on. So, as you've got it on the top, you just get your coil, push your coil in, like so. And let's just hope this doesn't fire <laughs> miles away. We need to do that. Yeah. If you do it slowly, it doesn't, but if you just pull it down, it doesn't pop off. So you can just uh, bang and it just pops up like so. How great is that? I think the y rice did it as well. And that's how you take it out. Now I will tell you, make sure you do get that top cap back on. With no, I did it once where I left a little bit of a gap. I'd not actually got it on properly and all juice came out of the airflow. So make sure you have got your cap on. So well, that is the Gru tank. So the V-Rod 200. I really do like the look of this. You've got zinc alloy here, and then you've got some leather going off here as well. And it does feel nice and comfortable. Tells you that it is a spire on that side. It does say V-Rod 200. Every time I'm thinking about V-Rod, it's like uh, hot rod cars or something like that. It does I always have to say, I know, fits in your hand really, really nice, especially for a dual 18650. It's got a nice little look to it. On the top, spring-loaded 510. Biggest atty you're going to fit on here is a 30 mil. At the bottom, you've got your battery door. You have got your kite marks, don't vape in a bin, and it is made in China. It's one of the battery doors that you just push down, and it's got a nice little bit of play to it. Now, some of these can be a little bit hard, and obviously when you're trying to fit your batteries in, it can be, uh, you feel like it's going to break, but this is okay. There's no problem with this. And it just flips open like that. You've got your plus and your minus. Then inside, you're not going to be able to see it. You've got your um, like sort of white background with a red cross, and then on the other side, you have got your um, uh, white background with like a black minus on there as well. Put your batteries in, like so. And as you see, just pushes across, and there's no jankiness. You've got no jankiness with it at all. Not even with the buttons or anything like that. On the front, you've got your power button, you've got your screen, you've got your plus and your minus, and then you've got your Type-C charger. And like I always say, I do recommend you charge your batteries in an external charger, but if you are caught on the go, it is Type-C, and it's 2 amp quick charging. So the menu, just before we get onto the menu, you've got your fire button and your plus and your minus. Really nice clicky fire button, no jankiness on them at all. Five clicks on, five clicks off. It is the same menu as the Finex. If you haven't seen that review, 80 watt device it is in the playlist. So you've got your battery indicators, you've got your lock icon, you've got what mode you've got it in, you've got your wattage or your voltage or your temperature control, you've then got your volts, your resistance, your amps, you've then got your puff counter, and then you've got how long you've actually had a puff. Now I did say on the Finex review, it is a little bit hard to see the voltage, resistance and amps, especially if I'm getting a bit older now and I'm having to wear glasses, a little bit small at the bottom. To get into the menu, it is the plus button and the fire button together. It'll come up mode, color and brightness, and then it'll take you to exit. Now, the mode is near enough exactly the same as what you get on the Finex, except that had auto, where this hasn't got auto. Auto is where it reads the resistance and gives you the best wattage. So on this one, you've got wattage, you've got your voltage. The voltage is between 0.5 volts and 9 volts. You've then got bypass, temperature control, and your curve mode. To select any of them, it is the fire button. Back into the menu. Go down to colour, you've got five different colours to select it from. I've gone to green because it's easier to see. Again, press the fire button to select it. Back into the menu, you've got your brightness. Again, just up and down. It's really nice, vibrant screen. I had no problems when I've been out in the sun. And then just to show you back to exit. Now to lock the device, you'll be able to see you've got that little lock icon. Three clicks, it'll lock it. 
Have I locked it? One, two, three. There we go. The icon's locked. One, two, three. And it opens it up again. To clear your puff counter, it is the fire button and the minus button. And that'll reset your puff counter. So that was a look round the V-Rod 200 watt kit from Aspire. What do we reckon? Well, let's go top to bottom like we normally do. We'll start off with the tank itself. It is the Gru tank. 810 drip tip is interchangeable if you've got your own. It is a top fill. Nice bit of gnarling round the top. The fit and finish to the tank is really, really good. They did say there is like a little bit of a childproof mechanism to this, but I can't see how that works because it's just a little bit of a quarter turn and it pops off. Now you've got two big juice wells either side, no problems with airlocks or anything like that. Now the bit I do like about this, and I am a bit of a gadgety person, is that the coils pop up, um, as you saw, when you want to change them. Now if you've got a full tank, you can just change your coils. And the way that works is you just push down at the bottom, as the coil comes up, it then shuts the actual tank off so no juice comes out. And then when you push your coil back in, it opens it back up. I always keep my finger just across, just in case it shoots out. Just pops out like that, then you take your coil out, like so, and then replace your coil, push it down, and it opens it back up again. Make sure you get that cap on nice and tight. There we go, and you are ready to go. Comes two mil TPD, four mil standard, and you can also get a five mil bubble glass in there. Now the coils you get with this is the Groove coils. Now when we did the Finex kit, you got the BP coils, which I really did like. And I quite like these as well. You get a 0.5 ohm mesh coil, best between 60 and 70 watts. You also get a 0.3 ohm coil, that's best between 40 and 50 watts. The airflow is bottom airflow, and the way that works, it goes underneath and then into your coil. It is nice and buttery smooth, locks off either side, and it is mirrored either side. Let's have a bit of a, what about the clouds, what about the flavours? So like I said, these are the Gru coils, and we've got these at 0.5 ohm, coming out at 66 watts. 66 watts, I haven't got a clue why. Really good flavouring clouds off of this. The flavour is just as good as them BP coils. Really good coils. And you expect that from a spy. If you look at like the Nautilus coils, you're expecting that decent flavour. And it is a really good flavour. All in all, like I said, the fit and finish of this tank, the flavour, the clouds, the little bit of the gimmick with the, the actual coil coming out so you can change it when you've got a full tank, really do like the, the actual tank itself. On to the mod made out of zinc alloy. It's got leather and it's that squidgy leather as well. So it fits really nice in your hand for a dual 18650. Fits really nice and snugly. Again, fit and finish really good. Even down to the battery door. No jankiness on your keys or anything like that. You've got everything you want on the menu. You've got everything. You've got your wattage, your bypass, your temperature control. You've got your curves. And it's so easy to navigate. Press that fire button and the plus button and you're in there. You can change the colour of your screen. And the screen is really, really vibrant. Only thing I've said about the screen is when you're looking at the voltage, resistance and ampage. Again, it's my age. I'm having to look like that. It is rather small. You can change the colours. Brightness of your screen. You've got everything that you want in there. Like I did say, they have changed it a little bit from the Finex kit. You haven't got the auto where it tests, you, uh, reads your resistance and then gives you the best wattage. What do I reckon to all of it? The kit itself just fits really nice. It looks nice. And it's been a while since you've actually, I've, I've actually reviewed a kit that's come together where everything just fits really nice. Just stick above my uh, shoulder all the different colours you can get this in. As a kit, I really do like this. And you can't beat the flavour and the clouds from it. Yeah, big thumbs up from little bro. As a kit, as a whole kit, that is absolutely spot on. Big shout out to Aspire for sending it out for review. You know how this goes. If you like the review, make sure you like, subscribe and share. Pity I don't know how it goes. Get me to that new magic number. Yes, we're nearly at that 3K. I'm on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Go and hit me up, people. And there's one last thing to say. 
keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.